I am Werner Pöve. Uh, today is um, October 7, 2018. Uh, we're here at the 22nd International Congress for Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorders. And I'm interviewing Professor Nobu Hatri from the Department of Neurology at Juntendo University and Medical School in Tokyo, Japan. Hello, Nobu. It's a great pleasure to yeah. be talking to you. Thank you. I'm very happy so, <laughs> to join the, this a historical interview. I'm very happy. <laughs> I, I was going to ask you um, a little bit about your career, what brought you into this field. You are now a very, <laughs> very distinguished leader oh, in the field so of much. movement disorders, yeah. but there was probably in your life a time when you were my even younger and made yeah. your decisions for careers. How, how, how did you get into the field? And I see. So I graduated the diploma from Juntendo University in 1985. Mm -hmm. And so our so Japanese so system for selection speciality mm -hmm. in the so internal medicine, mm -hmm. so neurology, cardiology, hematology, and also, I'm very interested in so psychiatry, mm -hmm. and among them, so a neurologist is very so interesting for me. And finally, okay, I want to join the department of neurology, mm -hmm. and also, as you know, first professor of the department of neurology, Juntendo University, Professor Hirotaro Narabayashi. Distinguished so leader in yes. the field of yes. Parkinson disease, especially saramotomy, pallidotomy, so many so fu uh, s functional no now what so functional neurosurgery. Yes. But yes. so he is so pioneer, he was pioneer in the field of saramotomy. He certainly was. I, I think he was even the one who who very much identified the VIM oh, yeah. target. Yeah. And if I remember correctly, he even um, tried to modify dyskinesia by VOA ah, yeah, lesioning yeah, yeah. at yeah, the time. That's right. Um, so you already answered a question, partially at least, um, I, I wanted to ask you, and which was about you know the, the, the role models. We all have our important oh, yeah. figures that lead ah, us yeah. into the past. So, uh, Professor Narabayashi was an important. Yeah. So, but uh, I think so. Initially, I was interested in the neuroimmunology, uh -huh. especially myosinate gravis, yes. and also polyneuropathy uh -huh. with gamma gamma I see. I so see. therefore, the, I'm very interested in the neurochemistry in the field of neurology. Yes. Myosinate gravis autoantibody who are uh, polyneuropathy, so especially um, protein name you, so this is very interesting. Did you have any other like uh, heroes, if I may call it that, in the international field for that were as a young Japanese doctor that were important for you in relation to movement disorders? Uh, so when I was the young, so mm. only Narabaya said mm. so key leader. Yes. Maybe so nobody know about another key person except Paul mm -hmm. Professor Narabayashi. Yes, yeah. And also, and also, uh, so many PD patient mm. after saramotomy in our hospital. Yes. So therefore, there were many Parkinson delays. Yes. This room all Parkinson. Yes. Another room all Parkinson. <laughs> Yeah. So therefore, that I think subsequently, okay, I I would interest in the another field of neurology. I see. So and yeah. subsequently, uh, polyneuropathy and myosinite glabis, mm -hmm. and also mitochondria encephalopathy. I see. And I think the mitochondria was yeah. an important scientific research topic for you. Yeah. I think so, and also uh, just uh, for three years, mm -hmm. I uh, was trained so residency of neurology. Yes, and uh, I come back to I was 
uh, come back to Juntendo University. Mm -hmm. And uh, just so uh, Yoshi Mizuno mm -hmm. arrived at Juntendo University. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is good timing for me. Yes. yes. And uh, Yoshi looks me. So only one younger colleague. I was interested in neurochemistry. Yes. So that was what Yoshi said. You were interested in the neurochemistry. It's mm -hmm. OK. You dramatic to change. Yes. Main theme of uh, neuroimmunology to movement disorder. Yes, and I remember there were papers then at the time that uh, you and Yoshi authored about ah, yeah, complex yeah. one deficiency. That's right. In in uh, Parkinson brain tissue. Yeah, yeah. So that's right. So mm. this is my PhD paper. I see. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, in the annals of neurology. At the, oh, that's uh, right. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. thank you so much. And of course, now many people associate your name uh, with important genetic discoveries oh, in yeah. Parkinson's disease. Yeah. And I remember the excitement mm -hmm. uh, when there was this new gene found yeah. and reported at one of the MDS congresses many, yeah. many years ago yeah. about Parkin. Parkin. Um, and you were very much involved in that, I know. Yeah. So would you like to tell us a little bit about yeah. your highlights that, as you see them in, in your mm. research? So uh, I enrolled myself into postgraduate school. Mm -hmm. And uh, so according to Yoshi's suggestion, mm -hmm. and uh, I was learning about molecular biology at Nagoya University mm -hmm. Department of Biomedical Chemistry. Mm -hmm. So I studied the molecular biology there and so many training. Mm -hmm. So cloning and sequencing. So just so non ROI sequencing technology so occurred. Mm -hmm. around the 1992 or 1993. Yes. And so I tried to perform sequencing with non-RI sequencing system. Uh -huh. And I'm very happy to so continue to every, every day so with my wife. Just I married with my wife around the uh, postgraduate school. I see. And a small room, uh -huh. and a old used bicycle, used bicycle, the cheap one, <laughs> <laughs> cheap one. And uh, also every day, early morning to late night, shaking and uh, pipetting so many. But during a four, three years, I had no paper. On the so first paper, as you know, Annals of Neurology, mm -hmm. complex one deficiency using post-mortem brain. Yes. But after then, uh -huh. no paper. Mm -hmm. So I want to get the big paper, uh -huh. especially uh, DNA sequencing. Yes. I tried to uh, subclone specific gene, one of complex one. Uh-huh. And but the uh, another team reported the same gene structure. Yes. Oh my god. I want to cry. <laughs> because gene structure the same. Yes. So replicate not so good. Yes, that's true. Mm. Original people, so all or none. Mm -hmm. So therefore the, I want to cry. So therefore, the, I want to exchange my focus, promoter of the same gene. Yes. And again, so <coughs> uh, my paper, so many, so journal, uh, I submit into many journals, mm -hmm. but reject. And also uh, human um, uh, genetics and uh, in Japan, mm -hmm. so uh, president, mm -hmm. professor, uh, very famous professor, chief editor. Yes. I contact appointment, mm -hmm. 
chief editor. And so chief editor uh, had a chance to talk my job. This is my paper. Yes. So I think that this paper is excellent. So therefore, the acceptable in this journal of in which you were chief editor. Ah, oh, I see. So, yeah. and you were successful. Yeah. So, no. <laughs> okay. You were funny. Mm -hmm. You were so formal submit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Formal submit. Okay. Post. Right. Now, was so internet. Yes. When I was young, so post. <laughs> of course. Of yeah. course. It was a bit more. So, post. So, uh, answer. Mm -hmm. Deject. Wow. So you've had to, to struggle with yeah. drawbacks. Yeah, so but the change in the BBRC. I see. Yeah. So finally, uh, my paper was accepted. Mm. So I'm very happy. And also, I come back. I came back to Juntendo University. Yes. And so we started again molecular biology. Mm -hmm. And finally, uh, very, very so lucky. My younger colleague, Kita, uh, Dr. Kitada, Dr. Yes. Kitada, yes. first author of Nature. Yes. I, um, my younger colleague, Dr. Kitada, he was an excellent researcher. Mm -hmm. And uh, many times so, to discuss the new gene and also very good collaborator, KO University, Professor Shimizu, mm -hmm. KO Laboratory. Uh, had already established uh, back library, back library very easy system, yeah. only PCR, and um, it is, it was easy to identify clone, mm -hmm. which contained parking. I see. So, so only one day. One day. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, amazing. So Professor Shimizu. So uh, two years, so Professor Shimizu deceased, but Professor Shimizu said, this system is very easy. For example, the, my clone complex one subunit gene. Mm -hmm. Also, it is easy to identify at least one day. For me, three years. Well, it has certainly changed yeah. Uh, yeah. since those days. Yeah, and uh, I learned about information. It's information. It was very important. Yeah, only scrolls so laboratory not so good. But you have been exceedingly successful with uh, with gene discovery in Parkinson's disease because Parkin was not your only has not remained your only discovery. Yeah. There were more genes to follow, yeah. as far as I know. So uh, another one, the, so 2015, mm -hmm. CHCD2, this yes. is autosomal dominant familiar Parkinson's disease gene. Yes. And um, as you know, <coughs> I have so many good friends, so MDS society, <laughs> and uh, you and uh, Edward, through uh, that, and the Chico. Mm -hmm. So so many so friend call me Mr. Jin. Yes, that is that is true. Will. Do you agree? Uh, well yes, I think <laughs> that's a fair that's a fair description. Yeah, thank you. But uh, as you indicated, um, there are of course also disappointments in a scientific career and particularly when you were young you had to be persistent and you had to deal with uh, drawbacks or with disappointment. Mm -hmm. um, what advice would you give, looking back at your own career, for, for young researchers? Number one, would you advise young researchers like us to proceed like yourself to run through a basic science part of their career before they then focus maybe on clinical research? Mm. Should these two areas be combined ideally? What is your advice to somebody that would ask you for oh. guidance? I'm, I like this uh, Parkinson's disease patient. Mm -hmm. My style is bench to bed and bed to bench. Mm -hmm. So both are very important. Mm -hmm. So some data and some hint provide me based on clinical aspect of Parkinson's disease. Mm -hmm. 
and for example, parking mutation patient very good response in net level two, but yeah. and also recently uh, parking could be involved in mitophagy. Mm -hmm. Mitophagy may be uh, associated with quality control of mitochondria, mm -hmm. and also CHCND2. Also, this uh, gene is mitochondrial gene mm -hmm. uh, uh, associated with mitochondria. And also, why is mitochondria important? And also, mitochondria uh, could be associated with aging process. Mm -hmm. process. Yes. So, also, aging is risk factor for developing to Parkinson's disease. And also why, but in contrast, young onset and middle age onset and very old onset. I believe the so Parkinson disease is a syndrome rather than disease. Yes, yes. And I mean, there is indeed a, a yeah. task force uh, convening um, at this meeting that is debating how to best define yeah. Parkinson's disease biologically. Now. Uh, of course, the field has evolved much since you started your career and when you started focusing on mitochondria, um, uh, this was an important yeah. pathway to look at as yeah. for Parkinson's pathogenesis. Now we have many more uh, pathways that are relevant to the pathogenesis of PD, largely discovered through genetic discoveries like you made. Um, looking ahead, where, where do you think our, our field is, is moving? What, what are you expecting will be the, the breakthroughs that we might be able to achieve in the next 10 years? Next 10 years, uh, I want to create a new therapy, mm -hmm. especially disease modifying therapy. Mm -hmm. And as you know, recently, sinucrine uh, protein also uh, the same story like prion disorder, mm -hmm. and uh, we have the, so uh, many experimental data the, for this point. Mm -hmm. So therefore, the, and uh, also I am very interested in the prion disorder clinical course is very very rapid. Yes. In contrast, the Parkinson disease with sinucrine budget, mm -hmm. with sinucrine protein, but this patient clinical course is very slow yeah. compared to CJD. So any so medical round, we uh, we have so many chances to discuss differences between Parkinson disease and prion disorder. So in front of me myself, so CJD patient between yes, yeah. but rabbit progression and also uh, propagation experiment show rapid even though synuclein protein mm -hmm. so my idea this is the good information clinical cause different mm -hmm. but animal model the same so therefore the prime on the protein maybe uh, brain may have protection who uh, immunological reaction and the force nuclear who apply maybe prion disorder nothing no system the for clearance mm -hmm. but nuclear may have clearance system yes so you would hope that these new therapies we're looking for that would stop or Mm, slow yeah. the progression of Parkinson's will be revolving around synuclein handling and synuclein processing in some way, be it enhancing clearance, be it immunotherapies, be it other approaches. That would be your your projection, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. Um, since we're here at the at the Congress, um, and you mentioned the role of MDS for in your in your own career. Um, how do you how do you view um, the movement disorder society and and its role in in the field of Parkinson's and, and movement disorders? 
So this, when this is the society, very good organized, mm. very well so organized, so to educate, and uh, also leadership, recently deep program. Mm -hmm. So many aspects. So MDS society continue to organize very nice uh, meeting every year. And also for me, once a year, I may have good chance to talk yeah. so many excellent physician, mm -hmm. excellent researcher, excellent friend. I had the impression, Nobu, when the MDS Congress was uh, taking place in, in Kyoto, yes. which is almost 20 years now, yeah, yeah. Uh, that that was a very important turning point, that since then the movement disorder field has accelerated in Asia, yeah. you have created the section. Yeah. You were very important. I think Yoshi yeah. was, but then you also yeah. had a leading role in the Asian Oceanic section. And it's mm -hmm. now, I think, one of the strongest in terms of numbers. Um, how do you see this going forward? Do you think this is going to keep growing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that so, uh, Asian countries, so many mm -hmm. population is increasing mm -hmm. year by year. And uh, especially uh, China, large country, mm -hmm. India, also mm -hmm. large country, mm -hmm. and also Korea, BJ, and uh, Singapore, UK, Tan, and Ristan, and Good Friend, and uh, Taiwan, uh, Robin Wu, yes. uh, Wu, Wu, and uh, uh, so many, and uh, AOPMC in the next year, Baron Chan, so had to organize this symposium. Yes. So there were the Asian countries maybe center of this field of movement disorder. Yes, yeah. I think that's, uh, that's an important area yeah, that cannot, yeah. be, uh, cannot be overestimated. Um, I want to come back to, to um, the issue what your advice would be for the young ones that, that enter the field, and you've indicated some, some aspects of that. But looking back at your own career, you told us there was a time when you had almost no private life. Mm. You spent yeah. time in, your time in the laboratory from dusk to ah. dawn, uh, from dawn to dusk, more or less. Yeah. Um, so what is your advice on obtaining a good work-life balance? Is it possible mm. if one wants to be successful mm. in the field, or what would you say? So, mm. I'm so strongly deviate into uh, <laughs> my job. So my wife said, oh, well, we have no time to talk with mm -hmm. ourselves." Yes. So, but uh, I think that, so. I like so my job. Mm -hmm. So, but the I so discussion, and also discussion with using a smartphone. Mm -hmm. with my wife every day <laughs> and also with my daughter yes. and also uh, young colleagues. Mm -hmm. So my policy is flat. <laughs> so it is very important. Mm -hmm. So also I am a responsible person mm -hmm. uh, in the Department of Neurology, mm -hmm. but every time flat, friendly and uh, so therefore, my young colleagues mm -hmm. active so discussion, actively discuss everything yes. of Parkinson's disease mm -hmm. and other neurological yeah. disorder. So that is your credo, flat yeah. hierarchies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which so this is the, in my mind also, yeah. uh, if, even though very busy, but my mental status very stable. Very good. Yeah. No, but it was, a, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.